Okay, Calvin, you ready to film the Telling Greyhound the video? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about having an Italian Greyhound. Whether you are considering getting an Italian Greyhound and want to learn more about the breed or you have an Italian Greyhound, uh, then you can just appreciate this video. All right, let's get into it. I made a video last summer about having two Italian Greyhounds. That was Calvin and his friend Plum, and I got a lot of people commenting on that video saying that they wanted more information about Italian Greyhounds and less information about me. So here is the video that you guys have all been wanting. Watch this video until the end. I've put together some of Calvin's most funny moments. It's definitely something you don't want to miss. I have also linked all of my favorite products for Italian Greyhounds down below. Italian Greyhounds are Velcro dogs. They are the kind of dogs that sleep best in bed with you. So if you are not someone that wants to sleep with your dog, I would probably consider a different breed. Um, however, I know some people that have their Italian Greyhounds trained to sleep in a crate or in their own bed. However, it's very difficult to train them to do that unless they're just born with that personality and there are not that many Italian Greyhounds that I know that do that, so just FYI. This also means that they are going to follow you everywhere, so expect your Italian Greyhound to follow you into whatever room you go into, including the bathroom. If you get an Italian Greyhound, you will never pee alone again. The way that we potty trained him was routine um, and also positive reinforcement, specifically with the potty pads. Um, in the beginning, I would let him, this is probably bad, but this is just how it worked really well for us. I would let him poop on the floor and I would pick up his little poops and put them on the pee pad and then clap for him and give him a treat. Um, and then I would pick the poop up and like get rid of it. But that got his scent on the pee pads and when his scent was on those pee pads and the scent meant something positive, that's when he started to get the picture and he would use them all the time. Um, he's three years old now and still to this day has a few accidents here and there, but they're pretty rare, so. Congratulations, Calvin, you're potty trained. Italian Greyhounds can easily break a leg. This is true. Um, when you get an Italian Greyhound, whether you rescue one or get one from a breeder, you wanna make sure that they have proper exercise, especially if you're getting a puppy. Um, their legs and their muscles and their bones are in a developmental stage when they're puppies and you want to make sure that they don't jump off of anything super high. By giving them regular exercise, this strengthens the muscles in their legs and makes it um, a lot harder for them to break a leg. However, I recommend having resources just in case you do have an Italian Greyhound that breaks a leg. Um, it would be something that I would prepare for. Um, with Italian Greyhounds, you can't just take them into any vet for a surgery for their leg to repair a broken bone. You usually have to go to a specialist and this can cost up to $5,000 per leg. So if you're someone that doesn't have that money readily available, I would recommend getting some sort of insurance for your dog. Um, I know there's a bunch of different companies, but that's definitely something that I would consider. Or having a credit card <laughs> that you could use for emergencies. Um, what I've found is there isn't really a way to completely 
ensure that your Italian Greyhound doesn't break its leg. Um, I've had friends who have Italian Greyhounds that it's just been, they've been running around the yard and all of a sudden they have a leg break. Um, it's not always jumping off of a high surface. They are just pretty fragile dogs. So you just wanna make sure that you're always keeping an eye on them, but there's you know some circumstances where this just can't be avoided. So you wanna make sure that you're feeding your Italian Greyhounds a really good diet, that they're getting exercise regularly, and you are getting them vet checkups regularly to make sure that they're healthy and strong so they can be safe. Italian Greyhounds, they are the laziest dogs that I have ever seen in my life. When somebody asked me about Calvin's energy levels and temperament, they could never guess that he sleeps all day. But that's really the truth. He prefers to sleep under the covers all day long. Um, greyhounds, Italian greyhounds and whippets sleep for at least 20 hours per day. Um, I know this specifically for Italian greyhounds. They need about 30 minutes of exercise every single day and that's about it. So they're really, really easy dogs to take care of. They don't need too much. They just basically need lots of love and lots of sleep. Some of Calvin's favorite things, and I feel like a lot of Italian greyhounds are this way too, they go crazy for cheese and chicken. I don't know what it is, but it's just like crack to them. A lot of people are really surprised how about how quiet Calvin is. Calvin is not a huge barker at all. And this was something that I read a lot of mixed, I wouldn't say like reviews on Italian Greyhounds, but a lot of mixed information about barking in the Italian Greyhound breed um, when I was doing research before I got Calvin. Um, I wanted a dog that didn't bark a lot and Italian Greyhounds are known for being a barkless breed. However, Calvin will bark if he sees a bird out of the window. He will bark if somebody comes to the door, if he hears a strange noise. They make amazing alert dogs. They will alert you by barking if something is wrong, but he will not bark for fun. Let me put it that way. He's not gonna bark like a chihuahua would. Completely different temperaments. I also want to address the fact that Italian Greyhounds need a special harness or a special collar. The way that their head is shaped, um, once they're full grown, it was I think specifically for him once he was full grown, their heads are smaller than their neck. So if you get a regular collar um, and you put a leash on that, it will actually slip off of their head and you will lose your dog. So you have to invest in a special collar that's called a martingale. And how a martingale works is when it's pulled on, it kind of tightens around their neck, not in a way that it would hurt them. Um, it definitely does take some getting used to um, for you and your dog, um, but it's a really, it's the only collar that will not slip over their head. So you have to invest in a good martingale and make sure that it is fitted to your dog properly. Um, I personally have not used a martingale on Calvin. I use um, this escape proof harness from Roughwear that I got for him, I think two years ago before we moved to New York City. I knew that I wanted something that if he pulled it was for sure not gonna come off of him. I mean, there's like countless horror stories that I've heard where Italian Greyhounds slip out of a regular harness. It's just not something that you wanna buy them just because their bodies are so oddly shaped. You cannot put them in a one size fits all for dogs. You have to invest in either a special martingale collar or a special escape proof harness. I will have both linked below that I recommend. I also want to let you guys know that Italian Greyhounds can be either 
really shy and skittish and shake and be nervous all of the time, or they can be really, really friendly and love everyone and every dog that they come into contact with. I was told that there really is no in-between. Um, Calvin loves everyone and every dog that he meets, so he runs up to strangers and jumps on them. Um, that's like a problem that we have with him. When we take him to the dog park, if someone's sitting down on a bench or something, he just will jump on them and, um, you know, usually the person doesn't care. They think he's adorable, but um, yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, or you could get an Italian Greyhound who is just scared of everything. Um, they generally are nervous dogs. Um, if Calvin's not super sure about something, he gets really nervous and shakes. Um, but when it comes to meeting people, um, I think it's because I socialized him pretty early on. Um, I was in college still when I got him, so he was constantly meeting a ton of my friends, my sorority sisters, um, I'd bring him on campus, um, just like to walk him around on campus. I'd take him outside at Starbucks and he'd have a pup cup. Um, he would go to the dog park and meet other dogs and, um, yeah, I just, he's always been well socialized and I think that really paid off. So if you are getting an Italian Greyhound puppy, make sure that you really socialize your puppy early on with people and with dogs. <laughs> I told you guys Italian Greyhounds sleep all day and uh, we've just interrupted Calvin's nap time to do the outro of this video, so. You guys should feel honored. He's giving me a lot of side eye right now. He's not about it. Say goodbye to everyone. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below your favorite thing about Italian Greyhounds. Um, before I got an Italian Greyhound, I was absolutely obsessed with them. So let me know what you love about them and ask me any questions about having an Italian Greyhound if you have them. I've put some clips together here at the end just to show how much fun it is to have an Italian Greyhound. So watch that footage, enjoy, and I will see you in my next video.